Hey traders, we are continuing with our free trading series for beginners and today we are at lesson 6. If you have any questions for any of the previous lessons, you can leave them on the comment section below and of course you can contact with any of us directly and we will respond as soon as possible. As I'm sure you already know, this is the team of DM Trading Bulgaria and if you want to find more about us, everything is available on our website that I'm showing you here. So, let's check the plan. Currently, we are on section 3, which is about economy, and the only lesson from this section is about economic analysis. Now, let's continue with the lesson. First, what are economic analysis? Well, this is an approach which will help you to have better understanding and overview on the markets. By then, you can have better idea if a certain movement that you're seeing on the graph right now is already exhausted, or the news will suggest you that there is still room for development. So, how they can help you? With them, you can have better overview of the sector that you're trading and also this could help you a lot with your decision making. Moreover, it can help you to read better the chart and in order to know if certain movement is fake or it will be supported from the majority of the traders which are trading this security. Now, let's continue with the sources. Well, if I have to be honest, I'm using only free sources, even though I have several Bloomberg certificates and I can use Bloomberg Terminal. The paid platform like Bloomberg and Reuters are very useful, but they are also providing you with a lot of information. And if you're not using all of it, they're becoming too expensive. That's why, for my needs, I'm perfectly happy with free websites like investing.com, cnbc.com and, of course, MarketWatch. Now, what's next are the trading habits. There are several habits if you manage to master, you'll become a very profitable trader and possibly very quickly. If you want to find more about this topic, you can check my special vlog, Profitable Trading Habits. It is available on our YouTube channel. First, as you already know, is reading the news. This is the basics for the economic analysis for which we spoke into the previous slides. We have to follow them constantly, but here is a trick. You don't have to read and follow all the news all the time. We just need to be familiar with the sector that you're trading and the news which can affect your portfolio and of course this sector. Now we are coming to analysis. When you're checking the news, of course first you have to analyze them and to decide which one is relevant for you and which one is not. And after this, you have to decide is it going to have strong or weak effect on your portfolio. My advice here is to find your own way to analyze and read the news because after all these are all your trading ideas and you know best what's going to affect them. Of course with the analysis you have to be familiar as well if certain news is already priced on the chart or there is still room for development. And in the end comes the decision making. When you're making your decisions you have to combine your expectations from the technical analysis and reading the chart with your economical analysis. Then you have to find the point where they are crossing and supporting each other and these are the trades which you are going to take. This is one of the most important decisions a trader should do and it is to decide when to pull the trigger and get into a trade. In my opinion, if you master the decision making in trading, you will be able to make money very quick and very soon. Now we are coming to the politics. This is a large topic and if I want to discuss everything about it and in more details I have to make special video series just for this. So now let's just observe the most important stuff. Here what you should know is that certain politicians can affect the market very strong. So that's why you have to be familiar with their speeches. Of course you don't have to listen all of them because most of the time they're speaking nonsense. I mean after all they're politicians. This is what they do. So, what to follow? Well, if the topic is about certain policy which the government will apply for the next several years, you should follow it because sometimes this can determine the trend for the index of a given country. We all remember the Brexit and what it did to the UK index FTSE 100. On how they can affect the markets, I will tell you that there are many ways and you will be surprised what the politicians can do to your portfolio, so you have to be careful. What you should know here is that most of the time there are expectations what they should tell on the press conference. 
what you have to follow here is are they keeping with the statement that everybody is expecting or they're getting a little bit off topic for example the fed meetings are very good representation how sometimes it's just another speech and another statement and sometimes just one sentence off topic can bring huge stress on the markets what's next are the central banks a central bank is monopolized and very often nationalized institution given privilege to control over the production and distribution of money and credits. They are also responsible for the monetary policy. So, what is their connection with the markets? Well, every decision that they are making is closely related with the economy of a given country. When the central bank is unstable or is applying certain policy, this will for sure affect the financial sector. Our job is to analyze and decide what this effect will be. In my opinion, what is important to know here is that their main instrument are the interest rates and this is what we have to follow closely. The leading data is something that is allowing us to see better the big picture for a given economy. As you can see, we have interest rates for which we just spoke into the previous slides. We have also GDP and of course we have unemployment rate. So how they can affect the markets. If we take for example the US economy, even if the unemployment rate is high and the GDP is low, this doesn't mean that uh, shares like Facebook and Google will start dropping. But this can give us an idea how the economy is performing. Of course, this data can affect the main index for a given country, so we can look for trade opportunities there. But the main point here is that if a given economy is not performing well, with a proper analysis, we can position ourselves on the markets better and before the others. And last but not least are the natural disasters. This is something which a lot of traders are underestimating, but actually it is very important. And I'll show you now why. So, why are they important? Well, sometimes they can get so big that they can block a given economy or to destroy the facilities of a certain company. This can affect the markets of a given economy and of course the particular shares very strongly. Also, another thing is that the natural disasters are coming from nowhere. Some of them are even impossible to predict, which means that people on both sides of the markets won't be prepared and the effect for certain companies or smaller economies can be catastrophic. What's next is how we can benefit from them. First, you have to follow the news and whenever you see something related to it, a natural disaster, you have to find a way to position yourself on the market. For example, if it is the hurricane season, you can try to see when it's going to hit and to look for trade opportunities into an insurance companies. This is due to the fact that in these situations they are losing a lot of money in order to pay to their customers. And respectfully, this is affecting very badly the share price of most of them. If the damages are bigger than expected, some of the smaller insurance companies might even get bankruptcy. On the question what we can lose, well, the simplest answer is a lot. Because if you are following the example from above with the insurance companies, and the worst thing that can happen is that for you to have a lot of exposure on the long side and something like this happens. Due to the unpredicted effect from the natural disasters, the shares of a given insurance company might drop so much that without the proper trade management, you can even lose your whole initial investment. This is everything about this lesson. There are only two left and they are going to be about risk management, so don't miss them. If you like this video and you want to see more of our videos that we are posting, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course you can click the little bell because in this way you're going to be notified immediately when we post a new video. Thank you very much for your attention and see you again next time. Bye bye!